The world is moving to 10 gigabit Ethernet. No one wants their network to be the bottleneck. Server virtualization, increased server performance, unified networking, and SSDs in the data center are all driving the change. Data center changes have further eased the transition as 10 gigabit Ethernet goes mainstream. The top three changes include adapter I.O. virtualization, improvements in server I.O. performance, and falling deployment costs. Let's explore four market drivers as more companies deploy 10 gigabit Ethernet. 1 gigabit Ethernet once offered all the bandwidth businesses needed, and that all changed with server virtualization and private cloud deployments. Now, servers support multiple virtual machines, each supporting one or more applications, each requiring its own network bandwidth. Then there's server performance. As server processors add cores and support more virtual machines, they increase requirements for network I.O. Unified networking is the third driver. Today, with 10 gigabit Ethernet, you can run network storage traffic over an Ethernet pipe, including Fiber Channel over Ethernet, NAS, and iSCSI. The final piece is SSDs in the data center. Flash non-volatile memory offers twice the read performance of hard disk drives. That moves the choke point from storage to the network. So here are some things you need to think about as you evolve your data center. First, 10 gigabit Ethernet adapters have evolved to support the new virtualized data center with new capabilities and higher performance in a virtualized environment. Next, the Intel Xeon processor-based server and workstation platforms deliver improved I.O. performance and deliver the benefits of high-speed Ethernet. Last, all the major switch vendors support 10 gigabit Ethernet in their newest switches. 10 g base t also makes it more affordable to deploy into your existing network infrastructure. Behind these undeniable forces, the world has changed, making now the time to adopt 10 gigabit Ethernet technology in your data center.